to prepare our dumplings. So we have the Montreal chicken by Grill Mates. I have cream of chicken condensed soup. I have one yellow onion. I have uh, chicken broth reduced sodium. I have some butter, some black pepper. I'm also going to use cream of chicken with herbs, garlic, and Italian seasoning. And the reason we're going to do Italian season because it has everything in it that I want to flavor my chicken and dumplings with. You can use it individually if you don't have them all. But as you can see here, these are the spices um, also that I wanted to use. And so if you just use the Italian seasoning, you'll get it all in one. Okay. All right, now let's move over to the stove where I have a pot of um, chicken legs that I am boiling. Now, what I'm going to do is I've already placed them. They were frozen and I stuck them right into the pot. It's not going to hurt them. Okay, so I have, ooh, this smells so good. Ooh, that aroma. Mmm, now I have... Uh, those spices that I just showed you, they are actually in the pot. And I actually, for, I actually, excuse me, forgot to tell you that I also put, if I could pull this bay leaf out, some bay leaves in. I put about, these are very small. I put about two or three small bay leaves in. And so we're going to let these chicken legs cook. We're going to keep them in here for probably about uh, 45 minutes to an hour until they're completely done. And then I'm going to debone them and I'm going to skin them and prepare them for the dumplings. But this is what it looks like in my pot. Also, I didn't show you. I also used some uh, chicken bouillon. Okay. I used the Noor chicken bouillon. And so I also put this in with my uh my boiled chicken and it's going to form a broth as well now you don't want too much of this because even though i have low sodium even though i have low sodium broth it's still going to bring some saltness to it the butter and the cream of chicken so we want to be careful with that because we don't want our food over salted, okay? So after the chicken is done, I'm going to come back and let you see how I debone it and skin it and get it ready for actually the chicken and dumplings. And then from there, it'll be very quick, okay? We'll be back. Okay, my friends. Now what I have done is... I have drained my chicken and I have this nice broth as you can see here. Okay, it's not too oily, it has a little oil. I'm gonna try to get that skim, as we used to call, skim it off of the top, okay, and get that off. I have deboned my chicken. As you can see, all the bones and the, the skin that I took off of the chicken. I mean that I took the chicken off, okay? Blah, 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 blah. Let me go back. <laughs> Here are the bones <laughs> from my my uh, chicken, okay? And the fat, okay? The skin, okay? We don't use that in our dumplings. At least I don't. Now, I have taken the chicken, okay? As I pulled it off, and I kind of shredded a little bit just with my hands, my fingers, Okay, so that made quite a bit. Those were four nice size chicken legs. So this is going to go into my pot that is about that big. And we're going to start making our dumplings, okay? And this is the time I'm going to start adding in my butter, uh, my um, cream of chicken, and my onions, okay? Now, I don't have celery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some celery seed, okay? That'll work just as fine. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to cut up some celery and I'm going to chop up some onion that I had. I had a whole one out at first, but 
I didn't need it. So now I'm gonna cut up my celery and my onion. And that's the only vegetable that I'm going to put into my chicken and dumplings. So, as you can see, I have my skillet ready. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop my, um, let's see, let me get you back where you can see. Okay, let's see. Get you back a little bit further. Okay, you should be able to see this. Okay. Yeah, so what we're going to do, and I'm not going to keep you um, and make you bored with me cutting up, but what I do, I clean my celery, and what I'm going to do is uh, chop it up. I don't want big, big chunks, but I do want the taste of celery in my chicken and dumplings. So I cut them up into thirds, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cut them up. I'm going to chop them, okay? Uh, not in mince but going to just probably do one chop two chop and then i'll be done okay that's how quick that was to do that so we're going to continue to chop it up i do have an extra piece but i'm not going to use that i feel like this is enough okay so i'm gonna throw this into my skillet okay and I'm just going to cook it until it gets translucent and the onion as well. So I'm just going to do uh, a portion of the onion, as you can see, and we're going to go from there. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go down this way, slice it. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to cut it like that. That cuts it up fine and you don't have to do a whole bunch of cutting, okay? So I hope the person that wanted to see me do this video is watching, okay? So we're going to get the vegetables cooked and we'll be back. Okay. Now that our vegetables are translucent, this is our celery and our onion, we're gonna go ahead and pour it into our pot of boiling broth with a 10 ounce can of cream of chicken soup, okay? So we have over here a our pot with boiling broth and a 10 and a half ounce can of Campbell's cream of chicken. Now I didn't use this one with the herbs because there are a lot of herbs in my broth. And so I just used the plain can of cream of chicken, okay? So now that my soup is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and put my chicken in, okay? So, and I showed you this earlier. I boiled four or five, I think it was four maybe, chicken legs, uh, deboned them, and took the skin off. And so this is uh, plenty enough for me and my husband actually to last us for a couple of days, okay? So we're gonna put that in our soup and let it just warm up for a minute, get all that goodness out, and I'll be back to show you the dumplings. Okay, now what I want you to do is see the consistency and the thickness of my soup here. It's pretty, it's getting pretty thick now, okay? I thought I was going to have to add maybe a cornstarch slurry, but I don't think so. Okay, it's looking pretty good. But 
what I want to do is I want to add, if I can find it, <laughs> a, a bay leaf, okay? Now, I do have some poultry seasoning in there, but I would like to add um, a bay leaf if I can find them. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to add... Uh, bay leaf, maybe two, and I'm going to stick that in there just for that season. I love the taste of and the aroma of the bay leaf. Yes. So we're going to stick that in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to put in my um, I'm going to start to put in my dumplings okay and I showed them to you earlier and I let them sit out for a while so they could unthaw because you have to keep them frozen until you're ready to use them and this is what they look like so most of the time i just cut them maybe in thirds or in half and this is what you have so you have enough in this one pack for a few servings okay it's just up to you kind of how you want to do it kind of how you want to do your dumplings you don't want to overpower but you just take them and while it's boiling you break the dumplings up okay and you just add them to your sauce okay so I'm doing I actually I'm cutting them up a little bit smaller than what I, I said <laughs> so you can just break them off okay pinch them off very gently okay and that's what you have so as you put them in remember to stir them okay so they don't get stuck together all right because they will stick okay so make sure that you stir them okay and that it's on a boil okay that your pot is on a, a medium to in between low and medium okay and also the reason i like uh, mary b's dumplings is because too she also has a recipe on the back for chicken and dumplings okay her recipe is eight frozen dumpling dough strips two quarts of chicken stock, a tablespoon of canola oil, one whole roasted chicken breast, three celery stalks cut in half, three carrots cut in one half inches, a tablespoon of fresh thyme, a tablespoon of finely chopped parsley, salt and pepper as needed. So what we did was, and the instructions are on the bag, is that we um, brought the chicken stock to a simmer in a large heavy bottom pot and then we added the ingredients and we cut each dumpling or broke them in four even pieces and slowly added them to the stock stirring often okay so i used about four um myself i may put one or two more in because what they're going to do as you can see they're starting to cook okay let me bring it up a little closer. See, they're starting to cook. So, I love the dumplings too. I love dumplings. I've already added some parsley to this. And so, I don't have to do that. But I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add maybe one more piece of the dumpling strips. Okay? Okay. And I might add another one because we love chicken and dumplings. You can add as many or less as you care to do, okay? 
and we use chicken legs. You can use chicken thighs. You can buy your rotisserie chicken. You can um, do like me. You can boil your chicken and make your own broth. You can um, use chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast. You know, you can, it, it's pretty giveable when it comes to the part of the chicken that you use. I like the dark meat better, okay? When I'm doing my soups and um, my chicken and dumpling or um, my chicken pot pies, I prefer to um, use the dark meat. But it, you know, it's very giveable. So whatever you like, whatever you choose, that's what you can do. And the good thing about it is that if you didn't unthaw them all <laughs> like I did, you can go ahead and put this right back into the freezer, okay? And actually, that's what I'm going to do because I can probably get two or uh, three more meals out of this that I have left over. We're going to taste this and see if it passed the test so far to what we want this to taste like, okay? So let me get my spoon. I like the thickness of it. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. Okay, I'm going to taste it. Mm. Perfect. Perfect. Now let me tell you something I didn't have out was poultry seasoning, okay? So what I did was I added some poultry seasoning, okay? And that's how I like to flavor mine, okay? And I, I didn't, I'm getting ready to put the butter in. I did not put my butter in. And it's just like a couple of tablespoons of butter, okay? That's going to make your sauce uh, creamy and rich and delicious you know with butter everything is better <laughs> can i get an amen <laughs> so i'm just gonna take two teaspoon tabs and that's gonna be one tablespoon okay and i'm gonna add them in and voila okay now we've added our butter okay so that's gonna bring the taste to a higher degree, okay? Now, all we have to do is just wait for our dumplings to get done and for the rest of the seasonings to really get in and flavor our pot, okay? So, we'll be back. Hi, my friends. Well, this is the finished product. Okay. Let's see. Try to get this in here where you can see it. And it looks delicious. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a taste test. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray your blessing over this food. It's in Jesus' name that we give thanks and pray. Amen. And praise God. Let's take a taste of this. Mmm. Delicious. The chicken is tender. The dumpling is just right. This is delicious. Look, another quick meal for you to fix for you and your family doing this fall season. Inexpensive chicken legs. You can make your own dumplings. You can even use biscuits that are already in the can. So look, this is another easy meal. And I hope that you will enjoy this recipe. I will definitely put it in the description box so you too can enjoy chicken and dumplings during the cold time of the year towards the fall, the Christmas season. And so you can give your family something that is filling and something that will warm them up on the inside. Look, God bless you. Thank you for coming back to visit us again. And if you're still a visitor and you wanna be a family member, hit that subscribe button. 
Won't you do that? That helps my channel. And why don't you give me a like and make a comment in the comment section. Thank you again for chiming in with Over 60 and Loving It with Yvonne. God bless you and be safe.